This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Storm Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Playboy Carti Immortal, the song, the track, okay? This is actually sampled from another beautiful song called L'Amour in Pitiable from Berserk Golden Age, okay? So I'll give you a preview of this beautiful thing before we start learning. It goes like this. Alright, let's get right into learning this very beautiful theme, alright? So first, we're going to learn the easier melody and block chord version because to get the chords first, then you can start to apply your own patterns. And I can also teach you how it kind of uh, voices in the original as well, so you can try that yourself. But those jumps are pretty big, so let's master the melody and block chords first before moving to that. Anyway, so right hand, the melody will break up the lesson to, let me see, one, two, three, four parts. It's easy to learn. So first part, right hand starts with the A. Okay, so middle C, C, I go up an octave C, go up to the A, that's where we start. So it goes A, down to D, back up to C sharp, D, C, B flat, A, G. So that's the first part for the right hand, the eight notes here. Alright, so every part is pretty much having eight notes. So let's go. There's eight notes once again, let's learn it again. So it's A, down to D, up to C sharp, D, C, B flat, A, G. That's it for the right hand. All right, and left hand we have two chords. We have uh, firstly a first inversion D major chord, which is F sharp A D, and then first inversion of B flat major, which is D F B flat. Okay, those two chords in mind. So first inversion of D major, then first inversion of B flat major. Two hands together goes like this. So it just goes uh, first note, first chord together. Every four notes you play a chord with a C and chord together, like that. Okay, so let's learn it again. So together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. That's it for the first part. Moving on to the second part. Right hand continues. Similar to the first part, the first few notes are the same. So A down to D, back up to C sharp, D, but now it changes. goes E, D, C, B flat. Okay, so a little bit different to the first part. So let's learn it again. So A down to D, up to C sharp, D, E, D, C, B flat. Like that. That's the right hand, okay? So that. Left hand, we have the same two chords though, compared to the first part, it's the same. So it's first version of D major and first version of B flat major that you know of from the first part already. With that in mind, two hands together goes like this, A and chord together, E and chord together. That's it, let's learn it once again, so together, together. That's it, so back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Moving on to the third part, right continues, goes C sharp A, up to C sharp D, up to the higher A, G, F sharp E. Very beautiful. Okay, let's learn it again. So G sharp A, C sharp D, up to the higher A, G, F sharp E. That's it. Finally, the left hand, we have different chords here. We have a first inversion D major, which is um, F sharp A, D, which uh, is the same as the first chord, actually. But now we change to uh, first inversion G minor, B flat D, G. Alright, so those two chords in mind, so first inversion D major and first inversion G minor, two hands together goes like this. Okay, uh, so it goes G, and, yep, okay, start. So it goes G shell and chord together, A and chord together, like that. Alright, let's learn it in, so together, together. So once again, the same concept, just the first chord with the first note and then the second chord with the fifth note, every four notes, okay? So back to back, the three parts of learned so far will be played like this. All right, all right. 
I think I actually like. Yeah, yeah, okay. The fourth quarter I actually played this chord instead. So don't mix it up like me. Okay, so make sure to just play the right chord. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, it's this, followed by this, followed by this, followed by this, and followed by this, and then followed by the G minor one. Which... Okay, anyways, moving on to the fourth and last part. Ryan continues, goes C, D flat, C, B flat, and A, B flat, A, G. Like that. So I know it C, D flat, C, B flat, A, B flat, A, G. Alright, very beautiful change of harmony. C, D flat, C, B flat, A, B flat, A, G. Yes. Okay. So, here we have uh, this following two chords. So, we have G flat major 7, which is G flat, B flat, D flat, F. Then, a uh, second version of C minor, which is just G, C, flat. Okay. Okay, so these two chords. Alright, with well, that in mind, turn together goes like this. Okay. It just goes together, together, like that, together, together, alright, yeah. Later on, like, the last chord is better to actually up it and do this, that's why it doesn't sound as good or like that, but it's actually the same chord. Anyways, regardless, back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. Etc. Okay, so once you get the melody and chords all good, you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns, or you can just do what I did in the preview. So uh, change it. Okay, so you need bigger hands to easily do this properly. So uh, you put it into tenths. So uh, this chord, you move that middle note a octave higher and make it like this. Okay, for the next chord. Okay, for the next one, you arpeggiate it quickly. Like the same. Same. Then. Uh, the next one, just... okay, you can do that. Uh, you can just like, play around, play around with the inversions. Then last chord, that make it sound better like that. Not having the C there, octave above. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and do that. And then like two hands together requires a little bit of hand hand independence. But anyway, if you practice the melody and block chords very good first, then apply the pattern practice. Then. Put it all together, it should be okay. Do it slowly and build up the speed. Etc. Okay, very beautiful theme. Haunting and beautiful. Alright, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. If you want to learn other beautiful and awesome themes like this, search up your favorite song name followed by Amos Stone on the YouTube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.